first round of the Eastern Conference playoffs. The New York Knicks are down two games to three with the opportunity to prove themselves to the league, their fans, and most importantly, themselves. It's a pivotal must-win battle against the Pacers. Round one of the NBA playoffs continues. Here in round one of the Eastern Conference playoffs, this has been a hard-fought matchup. Game six tonight with everything on the line. And along with Grant Hill and Doris Burke, I'm Brian Anderson, joined by Allie LaForce, our reporter. Hey, Allie. The Pacers roster has really shifted. Coach Rick Carlisle said, quote, whatever players are presented to me, I love the challenge of molding that group into the right system. This is a team where it's a strength in numbers type of situation. Brian, he says there has to be certain balance in their approach. A lot of capable players, Allie. Thanks for that. You look at Indiana, they have a chance to pull off the upset here at home. And you know, as well as anyone, they want to cap this series off in front of their fans. They're going to pull out all the stops to finish this in six. And to look at the starters for the Knicks, Mitchell Robinson is out there with Yusuf Nurkic. Then there's C.J. McCollum. Then there's Rudy Gobert. And it's Thompson in at the two. And for the Pacers, they've got Jalen Brunson. Al Horford out there with Miles Turner. Then there's LeBron James. And it's Suggs in at the two. Now McCollum. Pass to Nurkic. Gobert with it. Turner covers. Gobert against Turner. Gobert, no good. You will have to finish harder than that if you want to convert in traffic. inside defended by Thompson Turner no good Brunson against Thompson and so he draws the foul headed to the line to shoot a pair Jalen Brunson picks one up well, he does a lot of his work on the interior more than people realize Clay Thompson gets those calls because of his willingness to put himself in tough spots Free throw, no good. Well, the pure shooting stroke is the first thing you think of with Clay Thompson. But I think as impressive is what he gives you on the defensive end of the floor. Clay Thompson is as hard a worker as there is in the NBA. Now here's Brunson. Parked it down low that time. Got hit with the three-second call. against Brunson and we're about a minute into the first pass to Gobert shoots over Turner that one a little long well he's definitely covered well there and we you know he can knock down the fadeaway shot just didn't fall there so, so it'll be two free throws he was fouled in the act of shooting well, because Suggs can do so much offensively, he's able to keep defenders off balance, very willing to absorb the contact. And he knocks down the first one. And that one goes in. Two from the line that time. Jalen Suggs gets a ton of attention for his offensive skill set, and that's appropriate. But let's remember, he can be imposing defensively. Now here's McCollum. Nurkic, a screen on Brunson. Here's McCollum. James with the rebound. Got to credit the defense. They found a way to stop him, and that's never an easy task. to Horford. Six to shoot. No good with the triple. Boy, he won't miss many from that spot. The defense gets lucky there. McCullum shot is off. Nothing going right on the offensive end. Zero for four from the field. Brunson finds James. Turner, a screen on Robinson. James can't get it to go. 
The Knicks have gone 0 for 4, missing their first four attempts. To the paint. Oh, got a piece of it. Thompson, a screen on Brunson. McCullum. Yes, and a nice assist from Thompson. There it is. After four straight misses, finally nail one. And here in the first, approaching three minutes play. McCollum against Brunson. That one drops for him. Boy, Miles Turner insisting on playing through the contact gets the finish. The Knicks have gone one of five to start things off. Pass to Nurkic. And he lobs it up to the rim. What an excellent post-entry pass. Good things happen when you make that next look. Indiana trailing here. Here's Suggs. James, outside. Suggs, no good. Just one for five. Not the start they were looking for. Obviously, there's still plenty of time to get on track. Ooh, rejected by Horford. Well, this guy is a consistent shot block threat. Al Horford twice on the pipes. Pass to Gobert. New York needs to get one up quick. The timer ticks. That one goes in. And setting the tempo with an assertive move. Like, where was the defense on that play? To me, that's a complete lack of communication on that side of the ball. These guys need to be talking to each other. And that streaking rack attack is the mobile one drive. Yeah, he made that drive look easy, but that had a high degree of difficulty. And here are the Pacers now. After the basket by New York. Horford for three. McCollum pulls it in. The Knicks have gone three of eight so far. Pass to Nurkic. The jump hook. And he tries it off the glass, but it's no good. Trying to find a spark here. Yes, indeed. A rough stretch offensively. They could really use a basket. Here's James. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Back to Suggs. Beyond the arc. And once again, off the mark by Indiana. The Knicks with the lead. Thompson passes to McCollum. Back to Thompson. Inside. Here's Nurkic. The basket's good. Off the assist from Thompson. Nurkic has got his second basket. Now, even with that shoot-first mindset, Clay Thompson willing and able to make a great pass. Trying to get back on track, and it's James with the jam. That's what we call a power finish. There's no such thing as gentle for the big man. Here's McCollum, and he converts the layup. Ready to cash in. I like when McCollum looks to mix it up like this. The Pacers have gone only two of six from the field. Charity stripe shot. James can't get it to go. For New York, they've gotten five of 11 shots to go. Robinson passes to McCollum. to Nurkic. Now Gobert. Horford covering. And Gobert with the basket on the assist by Nurkic. Boy, absolutely no rim protection leading to a lot of easy buckets. Here sucks. Defended by Gobert. And that one's good. This is where you'd like the play to end up, right? LeBron James in rhythm off the catch. Pass to Nurkic. Here's Gobert. Turner covers. And here's Thompson for three. Hits a three-pointer. And the Knicks lead by seven. Clay Thompson is not about to let a three go unanswered. Big-time shot. James, a screen on Thompson. The three from Suggs. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. 
<laughs> That's how you up the ante. Come right back at him. And you would expect nothing less from these two taking pride and making plays. Now a timeout called by New York. And the players take this opportunity to get some Gatorade. Getting some fluids in you is so important during these timeouts. Get fresh, keep those batteries charged. Yeah, without proper hydration, a player can completely run out of gas down the stretch of a ball game. And that's something that none of these guys can afford to have happen. If you're going to battle all the way to the finish, you have to be hydrated. Some changes here for the Pacers. Hartenstein, he's checked in for Turner. Bay comes in for LeBron. And Hart subbed in for Suggs. The Knicks have gotten 7 of 13 shots to drop. Brunson against Curry. Pass to Hardaway. Let's it go from deep. He can't get it to go. So Indiana will take it the other way. I love how they've attacked the boards here in the first quarter. Here's Hardenstein. Here's Horford. Hauled in by McGee. New York has gone one or two from three-point land so far. Curry finds Hardaway. Back to Curry. Hard against Hardaway. There's the screen by Lynn. And Hardaway good for three. I just love how confident Tim Hardaway Jr. is from long distance. This guy will cash in from there. Pass to Brunson. Here's Hardenstein. Hardenstein a screen. Here's Brunson. He got a piece of it. And here's Curry. What? No scoring yet from him, but that's likely to change. Hardaway on the wing. Pass to Lynn. Well timed pass, and he goes straight to the bucket for the layup. And it's a nine point Nick lead. That's just nice play calling, right? And you like how quickly Lynn gets ready to catch off the roll. Really left him alone that time. And that's what they want to do get him open looks early. Here's Lynn. Outside Hardaway. It's New York scoring again. Guys, you want to be able to score from all three levels, and Hardaway Jr. is capable. That instance, mid-range is on point. Hart passes to Brunson. Horford, a screen on Curry. Here's Brunson. Oh, McGee with the block. Pass to Curry. And here is McGee. Here's Lynn. Horford covering. Hardaway. Hartenstein pulls it in. Indiana trailing here. Brunson with it. Now quiet so far offensively. Searching for his first point of the game. Bay outside. Over Lamb. Bay, no good. New York has gone two for four from range to start things off. Curry. 
Pass to Lynn. Hardaway with it. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Jalen Brunson picks one up. It's proving very difficult to guard Tim Hardaway Jr. without fouling the guy, especially when he's this aggressive. He's off on the first. Some changes for Indiana. Neesmith, he's checked in for Horford. And Suggs is subbed in for Brunson. And he ends up missing both free throws. Boy, that's not the result I would have predicted. Usually you can take those to the bank when he's at the line. Bay finds Hart. Here's Suggs. Now Bay. Uses the glass on the layup. Bay's got five points. And that's just nasty right there, guys. He has a tremendous crossover. Pass to Lynn. Hard away with it. Over Hart. New York, no good that time either. Listen, offensively, they're very comfortable with him taking that shot. It's a good look under very little pressure. He just can't convert. Outside Hardaway, down low. Here's McGee, and he drops in the layup off the glass. Well, you want some unselfishness from a guy who's capable of scoring, and Tim Hardaway says, you know what, my teammate's open, I'm going to get him the ball. Here's Neesmith. Boy, he's been patient so far. Nothing yet on the scoreboard. 36 seconds left in the opening quarter. Hey, good. The Knicks with the lead. Now here's Hardaway. He's got five. Oh, there's the alley. And McGee with the stuff. And the lead increases on a crazy offensive sequence. Man, the dunk alone would have been incredible, let alone the fact that it came off a pinpoint pass. Hartenstein a screen. Hart from long range. And again, it's the Pacers from deep. Jalen Suggs has proven early. If you're open, he's going to find you. Pretty pass. They get it again. McGee. And it's good. But hang on here the officials may want to take a look at it on the replay monitor and it the previous play is under review get the basket off in time or not yeah they're going to review that shot to make sure he got it off in time but i think it's going to count After the review, the ruling on the floor is overturned. So the replay was conclusive. Call overturned. Grant, that one's going to count. And B.A., you can argue against replay all you want, but at the end of the day, you want it to be a level playing field. You want the call to be correct. And so it's New York closing out the... Welcome back to 2K Sports, everybody. This game six getting started. All right, guys, what's your take on the Knicks so far? It's simple. When you can protect the rim the way they have, it's a big advantage. Total intimidation that first period. That is what has helped power them to this early lead. Here's Suggs. They've got Josh Hart. Neesmith out there with LeBron James. Then there's Jalen Suggs, and it's Turner in at the five. That's the five to begin the second quarter for the Pacers. Pass to Suggs. And so far in this one, two for four. How about the agility of Jalen Suggs to navigate the painted area and finish? Pretty nice stuff right there. McCullum, pass to McGee. To the middle. Here's Robinson. Drops in the layup for two. Robinson's gotten his second bucket. They're punishing those late defensive rotations. Getting good looks inside throughout the half. Now James. Here's Suggs. That falls. Nice feed that time from James. Suggs has got his third basket on the night right there. 
McCullum outside. Pass to Thompson. To the inside. McGee's shot is off. Boy, that's too easy to miss, but somehow he finds a way to do it. It's hard on the wing. McCullum defends. Hart passes to Turner. McGee with a steal. Thompson outside. Shoots over Hart. Sinks the 15-footer. Thompson's got six. And a shooter of Thompson's caliber has little trouble in the mid-range. James against Robinson. Thompson with a steal. Two minutes now played in the second quarter. Pass to Robinson. Just five to shoot. Back to Thompson. Shoots over Hart. It's wide right. Hits off the rim. That's a shot he'd like back. He's usually going to make those. Now, here is James. Back to Suggs. Turner, a screen on McCullum. And here's Turner. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. Rudy Gobert picks one up. Right, this is the size of Miles Turner because he's so skilled at using it to pick up these fouls. And a closer look here at the scoring breakdown for the Knicks. They've done a great job facilitating so far. So moving the rock and finding the open man, just great selfless basketball. Yeah, and their assertiveness in the paint so far tonight has been impactful. They're really making it hard for the interior defense. And that one falls for Turner. Well, Miles Turner understands how to use his size and length. Doesn't matter if he's blocking shots or going for his high release point jump shot. The Pacers making a switch here. Brunson's checked in. Nurkic has checked in for New York. Both shots good from the strike. This is what makes him a challenge to stop. He will beat you from the floor, and he can also beat you from the line. And Nurkic throws it down. We know CJ can score it, but the passing component of his game, I mean, McCollum's really upgraded it. Here's James. Five points in the game. Pass to Turner. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. Second team foul. At the line. Third of the end. Miles Turner. Two shots. And that one falls for Turner. The Pacers making a switch here. Warford's checked in. And he can't hit the second. Getting themselves to the line this quarter is a good way to get their offense rolling. Robinson finds McCullum. And Turner with the block. Miles Turner with that length sends it back twice on the pipes. Miles. Shooting for you. CJ McCullum. At the line for two. And the first one at the line is good. A late bloomer. C.J. McCollum's career has been fun to watch unfold. And I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. And so he hits both. An efficient night from the line. This is a guy who puts in the work and it pays dividends. Brunson passes to Hart. To the middle. Ooh, Gobert with a steal. Thompson outside. Over Hart. Thompson's shot is off. Indiana's gone four of nine so far from the perimeter. McCullum against Brunson. There's a screen by Turner. Horford for three. 
Basket is good. Off the assist from Brunson. Brunson's got three assists in the game. Um, this is how Al Horford has adjusted to make himself a modern NBA big. In rhythm, off the catch, beautiful. Now here's Thompson. He's got six. Picked by Gobert. Puts it up from 12. And the rebound goes to the Pacers. Brunson passes to Jane. Shot from 12. That shot, no good. So New York will take it the other way now. Their biggest lead of the game was nine. Pass to McCullum. Back to Thompson. The three is up. Fires from deep. Orford pulls it in. Horford's got four rebounds now. Well, it hasn't been the most efficient game for this guy, but their team is fortunate to still be out front. Brunson against McCullum. Turner, a screen on McCullum. Here's Brunson. That one's wide left. New York has gone 0 for 2 from outside in the second quarter. Pass to McCullum. Here's Gobert. Now Thompson. Shoots over Hart. That doesn't go either for Thompson. Boy, the wheels have definitely fallen off in this quarter. He cannot buy one. And that one is stuffed right through. Oh, what ferocity on the throwdown. I just love when he goes up with purpose. Where was the D right there? The effort lacking big time. Yeah, and give him credit for taking advantage in a close game. Those are the types of plays that can swing things in your direction. Shots good by Thompson. Now this is his comfort zone. Play Thompson beyond the arc. Such an easy look right there. And here's Brunson. Drives to the hoop. The Knicks pull it in. Nurkic has got five rebounds tonight. New York has gone one for three from downtown here in the second. Pass to Gobert. And Turner with the block. Now here's Brunson. Off the mark there with a three. What a brutal night for this guy, and it is having a ripple effect throughout the team. This is tough. Now here's Robinson. Brunson defending. That's good from Robinson. On the assist by Thompson. Thompson's got three assists tonight. Well, exactly where you want Robinson taking advantage offensively. Use the length and size to score inside. Now here is James. He's got five. He's going to the line for two. The official saw contact while he was going up. They simply can't bite on that pump fake from LeBron because he is waiting for you to leave your feet, and he's going to lean in to get to the line. Two shots. Shot two. First one falls. When you consider how far into his career LeBron is, the fact that he is still a force and that he is as versatile and fearless as he has ever been is nothing short of remarkable, guys. Hardenstein, he's checked in for Indiana. Bay comes in for Hart. A big group substitution here for New York. Lenz checked in for Gobert. Lamb comes in for Robinson. Hardaway's checked in for Clay Thompson. And it's Curry in for C.J. McCollum. Now a timeout called by New York. Your Indiana Kings fans are turning the temperature up. Let's
Woods is checked in for Indiana. The Knicks with the lead. Curry with it. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Outside Hardaway from deep. The shot that time not on target. And Indiana will go the other way with it. Now here's Turner. Now Brunson. Pass to Bay. Here's Suggs. 11 feet out. Indiana again missing. New York has gone one of four from three-point land here in the second. The three, Hardaway. The rebound by Turner. Turner's got five rebounds in the game. Here's Suggs. He's got nine. And here's Curry. Outside Hardaway. Pass to land. Three-pointer. Oh, Clank's that one. He's 0 for 1 to start. Indiana's gone 5 of 12 from three-point range tonight. Now Brunson. Back to Suggs. The three. Fires the three. Rebounded by Nurkic. Nurkic has got a seventh rebound here tonight. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Hardaway, the pass to Curry. Always a nice way to start. Makes his first one. He drops yet another dime. Just facilitating this offense like a maestro. Brunson against Curry. Outside for Bay. Let's go with a three. Lamb grabs the miss. Well, the defense clearly was not interested in guarding him from downtown. They're very fortunate he missed. Curry passes to Lamb. A chance to push it to double digits, but it's off the mark. Offensively, it's been a struggle for him. Yeah, they need to stream together some shots to have any kind of chance. The three from Suggs. Knocks down the long game. Suggs has got seven points for the quarter. Uh, you've got a talented ball handler with tremendous speed. And Jalen Suggs saying, all right, I can score the basketball in a variety of ways. Here's Lynn. Curry finds Lynn. For three, Hardaway. No good that time. And it's the Pacers taking it the other way. Here's Brunson. And too long on the shot. This has not been his best quarter. And you know what? They keep calling his number, and they're simply trying to get him out of this funk. Now here's Lamb. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Yeah, and they've taken their foot off the gas a little. They were much more aggressive to start the game and really getting their opponent in early foul trouble. On the wing bay. Back to Turner. Deflects the pass. And there's the call on Yusuf Nurkic. That's his first foul. Nismith, he's checked in for Turner. McGee, he's checked in for New York. We've got 128 left in the first half. Here's Hartenstein. Shot clock at six. Here's Brunson. Called in by McGee. Well, this guy cannot get started, and the offense overall has been a struggle because of it. Nurkic against Bay. Pass to Curry. And here is McGee. Indiana foul. Isaiah Hartenstein. First personal foul. Second team foul.
There's a screen by Nurkic. And it appears that he has totally lost his touch here in the second quarter. New York, no good that time either. I'll tell you, he has looked just a step slow all game, but his teammates, boy, have they come through. Back to Hartenstein. It's blocked. You see the agility of Alex Lynn in good position for the spot. Here's Hardaway. Takes it into the teeth of the D and converts the layup. Hardaway's gotten his third basket of the night. Pass to Suggs. Hardenstein a screen. Inside. Picked it out of midair. If they take their time, this will be the final possession of the quarter. Well, it's amazing. If you finish quarters the right way, it can have such a great impact on the outcome of a game. It's going to take more effort than that to stop Nurkic from scoring. He's a tough-minded big who plays with physicality. Here's Suggs. Pass to Bay for three. The shot misses. So we conclude the first half. Picks out in front. Up nine. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Allie, as always, thank you.